Welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin, and it's Tuesday. You might wonder why I have this serving spoon and these tongs attached to my belt. Well, when I'm not teaching the GMAT, I work at a candy shop, and I gotta keep these close to serve all the candy. <laughs> um, all right, <laughs> let's get into it. Um, today, we're looking at another common flaw in arguments on the GMAT. Uh, this flaw is called a sampling error and uh, pops up a lot on the test. So let's look at how we can identify it and then also how we can expose it um, for your essay. So what to look for? Look for results from one, one group being applied to another group. So oftentimes someone might see, you know, like a business do something in their business and they're like, oh, they had success doing this thing. We should try to do that. Or maybe it's like a school or an organization. Um, and they're applying some sort of results that they saw somewhere else to themselves. Another thing to look out for is just surveys in general. If you see um, some sort of surveys taking place, you're going to want to think sampling error. Um, how do you expose these errors? Well, first off, if you, there's different groups or different organizations or different businesses, you'd want to talk about why they're different and how they're different and why the results that one business saw um, just because you're both businesses doesn't mean you're going to see the same result. Uh, there's lots of things that are different between businesses, and you can't assume that something that works somewhere else is going to work for your business or your company or your school or organization. Um, explain why the survey is not representative. So this is something uh, to really conduct a good survey uh, is hard, and you need to know, you know, was the survey uh, conducted anonymously? Was it a representative of uh, the population that you're trying to uh, gather information about? Um, so if you don't see that information in the argument, which you won't because uh, they're really short, um, you'll want to talk about why you can't trust the survey results because it might not represent the entire group. So let's look at an example. Um, if you go to page 806 in the official guide to the GMAT, uh, there's an argument about Avia Airlines, and you can also get this online at mba.com. They have a PDF of all of these arguments. And so in this argument, they say that nine out of a thousand people complained about the bag handling services at this airline. And then they take the step of saying, so there was an overwhelming majority that are happy based on this information. So the conclusion is no review needed. So this is problematic for a couple of reasons. One, um, so they know that nine out of a thousand people complained, but they don't know um, they don't know about <laughs> like 980, 91 other people, and if they were mildly satisfied, were they dissatisfied but didn't complain? Um, were some of them overwhelmingly happy? Um, were some of them just neutral? Um, so there's a lot of information that's lost in this uh, statistic that they're giving us, and we don't know really what it represents without diving in and asking more people and actually surveying everyone to find out how they actually feel about the baggage handling services. They haven't actually surveyed everyone. They're just looking at nine out of a thousand who complained. Those people must have been really upset but they don't know if there's more people who are upset um, who just didn't mention it. Um, so there's some more examples of this error. If you go to page 807, there is an argument about security and safety consulting. And then on page 819, there is an argument about Magic Hat Brewery that uh, both of these have this error in the argument. So um, go there, read them. Uh, write in the comments what you think the argument is and I'll respond and let you know if I think it's good or not. Um, and if you need more help on the GMAT, head over to gmat.magoosh.com where there's a lot of wonderful people who want to help you dominate the test. All right, be excellent to the universe. I've got to go back to serving candy.